Hey guys, so this video is my first products I regret buying and as I can see here that there is quite a lot so let's get started because you guys know I talk a lot. First one is this Guerlain um, liquid lipstick. Like I'm not sure what the formal name is. Um, this is the Rouge G Extrait in Envy and this is in a bright color gloss so it comes in like this really heavy bullet packaging. You like take it off I made a review on this you take it off and then it pops up like that and um, it's a really bright orangey co co coral color and my problem with this is that number one is very expensive it was like 50 50 dollars I think around there and it was really really drying and um, it just kept coming off every time you know I ate something and I had to keep reapplying it so that was quite annoying um, the other annoying thing was this the um, Ru um, Armani uh lip maestro in 502 when i first saw reviews and swatches of this online especially because i always read um tim talia's blog she gave these like a and a plus and for me i was just like really really frustrated with this like first of all the color is absolutely lovely it's like this you know like pink sort of like magenta color and i have a picture of this on on my Instagram and the problem with this is that it's feathered it went everywhere um, it's very very drying like no matter what I do it's very drying like I would put on my Mac prep and prime lip underneath that um, it was still drying um, the only thing is I have to put like gloss on top and everything and I'm just like for a product that costs like 30 or $40 like this should not be happening you know like I don't want to go through all those steps and you know like just to make this product work so I saw a review online and one girl said use a lip brush because the applicator actually gives you way too much product hence you know the feathering and you know the bleeding and all that so I did that and it was actually great like it worked but I had a problem with you know the drying the drying issue with it even though I had like the MAC prep and prime underneath so this was just not worth it for me like I don't know what to do with it I should actually organize a blog sale for you guys so you know you can help me like get rid of the following products the next one is Illamasqua lip gloss in opulent and it's this really trippy like dirty beige color with like pink and gold shimmer on it now this when you wear it alone, you look like you're dead. And um, I think it's only good if you like top it off, on, put it on top of like a lip liner or like a lipstick. Um, it's quite sticky, which I don't mind. It's just that the color was so like oh, by itself. And then this one, I think it's like my first Lime Crime purchase. This is um, Hologram Carousel Gloss. And like my only problem with this is that there's a lot of like... Um, negative review um, regarding the way you know Doe Deer the creator of um, Lime Crime is as a person as a seller how she like buys cheap products and then she sells them for a higher price and labeling them as hers and you know shipping out clothes that have like tape on them and there's evidence all over online and I just feel so horrible you know, um, buying something from her and lemming over things from her. I actually have another lipstick here and like, you know, I just feel so bad like buying something and then finding out, you know, exactly what the type of person she is and I don't want to support somebody who treats other people in such a way, you know, that like hurts them and rips them off and, you know, lies to them and I hate being lied to and being ripped off out as well that's why I try to be nice to everybody you know like all the time and so yeah I mean the formula is great and everything um I love the unique green color um it's a little bit pigmented but you can wear like a dark lip liner underneath and it's great for like Halloween when you're going out you know um uh but yeah that's the only thing 
that major thing that prevents me from supporting you know lime crime as a brand and the owner as well um the other one i recently talked about this the the chubby stick intense moisturizing lip color balm by clinique and i have it in curvy as caramel no matter what i do this is very very drying it's um one of those like nudie rosy pink brown like colors um i wear this sometimes but even though it's like humid like today um i would expect that it would work better because there's more moisture in the air it's not like drying like in the winter you know and it's still pretty drying so i don't like that and uh last but not the least as a product um again this is by Ilamasca. um this is underworld and this lipstick is so frustrating like i have it in the gloss form because it came in a set so i thought hey you know what it's better at, it's a better deal you know i get more my money's worth if um i buy the gloss form as well so the gloss form is boost which oh my god it's a gorgeous like violet color with like you know blue iridescence to it but the lipstick form is so frustrating because it's like it's like the colors are coming off and i know ilamasca like lipsticks are quite dry but they last a longer time i'm okay with it with like a lip uh, like a prep and prime or like a little bit of gloss on top that's fine but this color in particular like the formula of it is just so frustrating and easy to apply so i just use the gloss and this is lovely um i love the scent as well it's got like this fruity candy flavor and like the gloss is much much better as you can see like very nice lovely violet color i love it um next few things um oh i have another lip product as well i love this but the only thing that I don't like is that you're wasting a lot of product and I don't like sharpening my lip products. Um, this is NARS Baroque Velvet Gloss Lip Pencil. Again, very nice color. Great for every day, for looking polished, great for the office as well. Nice fall color, you know, um, it glides on nicely, it lasts a fair amount of time, it's moisturizing, but you have to sharpen it. And you're wasting a lot of product. You're wasting product, you're wasting money. I don't like that. Um, okay, eye products. This is the Bobbi Brown Long Wear Cream Shadow Lipstick in Violet Plum. Now, I saw um, Katie Holmes' um, promo picture last fall and she looks damn sexy. She, that woman looks beautiful. Um, and she was promoting this color. This is one of the colors that she has on her lids. Um, and um, this is the color nice right um it glides on nicely on um, the back of my hand but once you put it on your lids it comes off quite patchy like it's not as opaque as like let's say like the Laura Mercier um, shadow sticks um, caviar sticks but I mean I like the color it's not too dark you can still wear it during the day and sheer it out but by the time you when you apply it on your lids it goes on quite patchy so you gotta blend and put more product and like you know work with it a little bit more but if you're into like sheer colors and you want to share it out then you should be okay with this product just really not that worth it that's why i'm not using it that much um and you guys know i love the laura mercier caviar sticks now um i have two here that i regret buying the only problem is that the colors Colors are not the ones that I use every day all the time. So last summer they came up with this one, uh, Turquoise. Lovely. Lovely color, but I don't use it all the time. So pigmented. Glides on like butter. Hard to remove. Stays on your lids it's like forever and it doesn't crease. And then they came up with like new ones for the winter, the Mint Snow. And it's such a cute color, but again, I don't use this every day. You know, I should have gotten like a gold, like a rose gold, or like one of the bronzy colors, or like a highlight color, but I don't know, like, you can sheer it out, right? 
it will look nice gives you like this like under the sea mermaid sort of like look and then have this as a liner and you're okay but it's just not a look that I always gravitate to daily and then um, I bought this one the Urban Decay Cream Shadow this is long discontinued um, I remember fini finishing Suburbia that color is like the perfect golden like bronze color and I use it like every day so I was like you know what I ran out of it I might as well go and try another color and this one is in Midnight Rodeo Ooh, Rodeo and um, again it comes off quite patchy not like a solid color we can see it. it's like a highlight sheer highlight color it goes on quite patchy on the lids and it's like so frustrating to like use like I prefer like their pencil form uh, where is it where's the pencil form I can't find it you guys um this one the urban decay see um midnight okay so midnight rodeo this is midnight cowboy which is more of like a darker beige color like I like that more but it just kind of drags a little bit I love it just by itself so yeah I regret buying this I got it off eBay and then um I love the cyber metallic formulation from um, Estee Lauder and you know they extended their color range um, but I bought it in this color because it looked cute but it's not something that again that I would wear every day love the formula but it's just nah, it's not something that I would wear all the time it's just it's just pretty to look at pretty to play with and it's such a cool toned like pink like cornflower color like and it's got like a pink like you know shift to it can't see it in the camera but it's beautiful it's pretty it gives you like this fairy sort of like ethereal look or like you know it's great for like little girls who are gonna go to their play and they're like this, they're just this, they're just like this fairy princess or like little ballerinas you know um it just seems so like young to me and like theatrical sort of like makeup you know what I mean and then what else was I gonna show you guys oh this one lovely color I wear it when I want to when I have extra time to do this um, but it's the Victoria's Secret taboo shimmer eyeshadow I used this on a tutorial one time on how to make it work like see this part right over here that's the part that I use with um, a liquid illuminator um, like this one the orgasm illuminator put a little bit on your brush and then pick up the color with the same brush mix the illuminator and the eyeshadow together and it will give you like this metallic wet sort of like look on your eyes but this eyeshadow lovely color it just takes forever to make it work so I kind of regret you know buying that and then Makeup Forever, I think last winter they came up with the Holodium powders and um, I regret buying this. This is like maybe $20, $30 or something. Um, lovely color. It's like this white color but it's got like this teal and blue sort of like um, iridescence to it. So lovely. You can put it on top of like any eyeshadow and it will give you like this really, really nice effect. Like they did it on a model with like purple eyeshadow and then they put this on top and then she was like dancing and partying and it's like you know disco and everything um I love that look it's just not something that I do again every day I I mean it performs well it lasts a long time on the lids um but I should have gone with Tarina Tarantino um uh there was a cheaper cheaper alternative to that to this I think it's called opal and you know Tarina Tarantino is not carried by Sephora anymore so I returned that because I already have this I should have kept that one and stayed with this one Ugh. so yeah um I just want to show you guys this is the Tarina Tarantino Sparklicity I have it in bronze I kept the bronze one because it's lovely but I returned the opal one because I already have this makeup forever they're about the same really it's just costs way more 
Um, another thing that I regret buying, I mean, I just don't use it a lot. You know, it just sits here all the time. It's the Sleek Makeup Shangri-La Collection um, in the Respect Palette. So, um, it's nice. Like, it was like probably around $20 or something. I forgot. But it's got like a huge mirror right over here. And um, here are your colors. So you can use this as eyeshadows or blushers, which is like brilliant, like you can travel with this. And you got like these sort of like neutral colors. But I don't like how there's like uh, like an ivory here and then like a white here. I prefer something that's totally different. Like they can take this off or like take this off and put like another like maybe like a warm brown color. But I love, I love these ones, and then like the basic black, and then like, you know, the plummy color right there. But it's not something that I gravitate towards to, like, I just don't use it as much. So I kind of regret buying this, even though it's totally cheap. And then, last but not the least, guys, please don't get mad at me. It's just that there's a lot of crazy colors in this palette that I don't get to use so I mean I don't want to use it every day because I just don't feel like it um the Urban Decay Vice palette sorry I mean it's fun if you're like a makeup artist okay if you're you have this type of job where you can play with color and like you know have like green blue and pink eyeshadow every day um and these are the colors um I only use like the black one and like the neutral ones at the bottom and then like you know these ones are quite lovely as well and I tried to use this color too but it's 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 a nice blue but it's just so it's quite chalky like it's hard to play with once you put it on your lids like see that it's very chalky and it's not like you know full coverage and it's quite dry as well so you need like water or like a mixing medium or or something. Um, I haven't touched Junky, which is like this lovely green color. I haven't touched Occupy, Unhinged, um, Noise. I haven't touched it. Um, Armor, I haven't used it yet, but I think I swatched it. Um, Blitz and Penny Lane, yeah, okay. Like I used it like maybe once. Um... But other than that, like, I'm just like, well, I used this once too. Provocateur and this on the crease and then, you know, this on, like, the outer V. Or, like, you know, this all over the lid, this on the crease, and then this on the outer V would be nice. Um, I just don't use it every day. Like, I use my MAC shadows more often because most of them are, like, neutrals. Like, I use my shadow bonbons most of the time. I use my Stila in the No palette most of the time because those are, like, the boring everyday colors but that's why we use them all the time because they are the neutrals that will go with whatever cheek color skin tone color lip color that you have you know just saying it's true so yeah those are all of the products that I regret buying and this is just my opinion so um if you like any of the products here well congrats to you guys I feel but I feel good for you. I'm happy for you that you got your money's worth. And as for me, well, it's always a hit and miss, you know, when it comes down to makeup. Like, you never really know until you've tried, like, how many products already. So, that's it, you guys. And I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. I've got other accounts and, you know, different ways with interacting with me as well. The information is down below. And I will talk to you later.